complete, the Mercury spacecraft was transported a short distance to Cape Canaveral's Launch Pad 5 to be mounted atop a Redstone rocket for suborbital missions, or to Launch Pad 14 for mating to an Atlas booster for the flights to Earth's orbit. While astronauts prepared for their eventual trips into space, a group of chimpanzees also were undergoing training to ensure humans could withstand the physical strain and g-forces during a rocket launch. first stage there was some vibration uh, which I assume is normal uh, as we got all the way up into uh, orbit but uh, a lot different than shuttle more like do you think more like an Apollo or a Saturn mission experience I doubt it was uh, quite like uh, an Apollo type ride that that vehicle was so much bigger I just think with Falcon 9, you're, it's a smaller vehicle than shuttle and a much smaller vehicle than Saturn V. And I just think you feel the vehicle, if that makes sense. You feel the vehicle a little bit more. And I think that's why we felt that second stage quite a bit more. You just noticed everything almost without looking at the displays. You knew what the engines were doing. You knew what the vehicle was doing and you could almost feel it. So it was a kind of a neat feeling.